Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison and Susan LaCroix. Welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. Hi, Mom. Hi, Julie. How are you? I am good. We just wrapped a very busy weekend with Vacation Stamping School. This is our annual demonstrator training event, and we had 160 people from around the globe who participated in our event this year. Oh, can you hear the thunderstorm going on over here? There was that was a really big crack. <laughs> and just a moment ago, uh, my power blipped and I had to re-log into our Zoom. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's crazy. It, crazy. It, it has been very busy though, getting ready for vacation stamping school. And I have to say, I am breathing a little like <laughs> a little sigh now as everything is done. I can sort of um, focus some energy on some other things, but it was a fantastic day, and I so enjoyed sharing and gathering with everyone online. You had some people over to your house, didn't you? Yeah, some of my team members came over, and we kind of did a little potluck over lunch. Dad grilled out some burgers and dogs, and uh, Norma made the most phenomenal cherry cheesecake. Oh, I'm know. jealous. <laughs> it's like, oh, it was so good. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, and also in addition to getting ready for vacation stamping school, I had your uncle Larry and his wife Phyllis here. Oh, that's for, right. For two weeks, oh. <laughs> in and out, and they were doing different things. But yeah, they left uh, Saturday morning early. So yeah, it was just crazy. And yes, today I am um, <laughs> like ready for a nap. <laughs> ready for a nap. Yeah. Yeah. Also, what's this called last week? So it makes them all bad. Yes. So, yeah, but that's okay. It's crazy. That's well, cool. I'm excited because at the end of this week, we're coming to see you. <laughs> I cannot wait. So I need to rest up. <laughs> yes, most definitely need to rest up. I'm looking forward to filming in person and of course, just spending some time with you guys. It'll be a short visit because we have to get back before school starts, but um, it's going to yeah. be fun. It will be fun, but uh, I'm really excited to share uh, what we're doing this week. So. I am too. So this is a little bit, this is a little taste of vacation stamping school. So part of this annual demonstrator training event um, is a mix and match product class where each of the seven organizers um, design a project using the same suite from the mini catalog. And then um, we present the, the project and everyone can use, mix and match the products to use in their own customer events at home. So today we're gonna share the projects that we each created for Vacation Stamping School. Um, and I'm really excited about the projects. I think um, I think they're really awesome. So let's, let's flip the camera over and let you right. um, unveil the suite that we'll be featuring today. Yep. Okay, so I have to admit, when we first said this is the suite we were going to use, I wasn't real thrilled. Oh. <laughs> it was, it was, I, I looked at this and I thought, yeah, it's okay. I wasn't even going to order it. Oh, really? So I did, really? Yeah. Yeah. And then I did. And oh my gosh. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's it. I've changed my mind. <laughs> so anyway, it's called the Lights A Glow Suite. And this is actually a mega suite. So you can find it in the mini catalog on pages 30 through 33. So there's beautiful samples over here and there's so much in this suite. We're gonna go, I'm gonna show them all to you, but look at this, two bundles, ribbon, pearls, glimmer paper, foil paper, designer series paper. I mean, come on. <laughs> Right? That's, why, that's why I'm surprised that you didn't like this one at first because it's so sparkly. Well, I, I did. I'll tell you what I did order. I ordered the ribbon, the pearls, and the glitter <laughs> paper. <laughs> and then I went back and ordered the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> so on the next two pages then is kind of an in-depth look at the stamp sets with a few more samples. I'm going to go through these you know, up close. So anyway, I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to put this aside. And start with our two, I'm going to start right at the top of the page. So the there's two bundles. This one is called Christmas Lights. They're both cling stamp sets. This is a set of eight stamp sets. So you've got some fun accessory items. And then here is the um, twinkling lights dies that go with it. And so it, you can do the tree. You can do the outline of the tree. Same thing with the snowflake. We've got a couple pieces there. Um, 
you've got smaller snowflakes, little Christmas trees. That this also could, I guess, be used as like a little clown hat or a party hat. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. You know, the yeah. thing that I really love about this bundle is that it's got trees and snowflakes. Like I felt like yeah. it's really a versatile thing to use for the holidays because you get a little bit of everything. Oh, absolutely. Yep. And then the next one, and this is, again, this just all goes together, brightest glow. And they're all greetings in different fonts. There's um, card front greetings. There's inside greetings. Just a lot of fun. Different. I just love it. Anyway, so this is a set of 12 stamps. And then the dies that go with this are the labels of glow. And so you get a couple labels. You get this fun circle that has like dots in it. Oh man, I don't know what I did with that. Okay, well, I had I had die, die cut these out and I had them on paper and I don't know what I did with them. But um, so this is a fun, this doesn't cut out. So this just, uh, you just put your card stuck through it and you'll get this fun little element there. And you've got some little snowflakes. So lots of lots of things you can do with this stamp set and these um, dies. All right, so those are the bundles. And then next, now I think on the page, I closed my page, but uh, next down the line is this is beautiful vanilla and gold uh, satin edged ribbon. And it's soft, it's easy to use, and it's just really pretty. So you'll see a lot of that on our projects, I think. Right, did you use it, Julie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then these are um, red and green adhesive back pearls. And it's actually gold and silver in red and green. And yeah, in the catalog, this is called Festive Pearls. So oh, it is. It's confusing that the packaging is different. Um, yeah. yeah, that's right. So this <laughs> is red and green, but they're really festive. Yep. So that's what you get. I don't know if you can see all four colors. So the red and the green and the silver and the gold. All right, so that's those are the those two elements. And then we get down to the um, glimmer. Okay, ah, glimmer in the foil. Let's start with that. So these come in 12 by 12 sheets. So I love this green. Mm -hmm. absolutely love it and you get gold and you get white it's actually it's, like a vanilla isn't it ivory yeah yeah I think it is and it, it doesn't shed like some glimmer papers can so I really like that so you get two each of the green the gold and I guess vanilla yeah it is very vanilla because there's a white with the red and white glitter pack that's six by six oh, now right. that one is that white. is white so you're this right. is this is more very vanilla yep and then we have some foil papers so you'll get one each i think it's one each um well i got my catalog right here let's see thank you two each two each mm -hmm. so there's a red foil and i don't know if those are coming across very yeah, well Yeah, i can kind of see it sparkle and then here's the green, the soft succulent with the snowflakes. And then there's a gold. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty? So those are the two specialty papers that come with this mega suite. And then there's the designer series paper. But oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right, Jay. But oh, wait, there's more. So this is a pack of 48 sheets. They're six by six and you get 12 different designs. So for each of these 12 different designs. So one side is completely foiled. Now I'll just kind of try to fan them out here a little bit. This one, <laughs> this one reminds me of trees. Mm -hmm. You could do a fun Halloween card with this one. Yeah, right now it reminds me of lightning. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, firm light. And then here's um there's this one. This is a fun one that you can cut out and have this fun little element and do something on the inside. And this one. I think what's really to... interesting about this paper is that it has both white and vanilla in the paper. It does. You're right. So here's a soft succulent piece. I think this one right here is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm, mine too. 
And this one's kind of fun. It's got the trees in gold on it that you can use. It's kind of a fun background. And then this guy. And then this one, kind of like the foil paper. And then the back side of these are not foiled, but again, they're just really nice patterns. This could also be a stormy night at your place, Jewel. Yeah, for real. It is about that dark outside right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like this. This is a fun piece too. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it and that's dive... one, it's kind of hard to see, but like, it's sort of like, I don't know, it's sort of spotty with the vanilla and white. Yes, it is. Yeah. And just some of these smaller, finer patterns in the cherry and the succulent. So just really fun patterns that you can get. So have fun with these because they're just a lot of fun. All right. So that is the, the suite. So Jules, are you ready to show your project? I am. Let me switch the camera over to my desktop. So I'm going to start by sharing some of the projects that I've made. You know me, I love to case the catalog. And I was really excited about the Lights of Glow because it is our cover girl. It's on the cover here of the July through December mini catalog from Stampin' Up. And so I'm on page 30 of the catalog. And um, so I wanted to share first the projects that I case. So here's the first one. And the project in the catalog is actually a gift box. And I converted it to a card. So I used Cherry Cobbler for the card base. But many of the other elements there are the same, using some pieces of the designer paper, some of the glitter paper with the die cut snowflake, and of course that beautiful ribbon. I also really loved this one up here. I'd made some cards already with trees, and so I definitely wanted to make some snowflake cards, um, and I decided to use the red instead of the green. So I stamped those um, in red ink and then die cut with the detailed dies. And then the sentiment is on creme cake cardstock with a little bit of that silver and gold twine um, in the background and the, the gold strip of paper there. Same little stamping on the inside. The last project that I cased from the catalog is from the bundle. And I always do um, a video where I case the catalog. And so this was, this was one of the first projects that I made. Um, and usually in the bundle index, they don't use um, the, the same sweet colors and paper, but I really love the paper. And so I kind of went back to the Lights of Glow designer paper and remade that same card. Um, and I love the gold foil underneath the, the paper. That one might be a favorite. <laughs> All right, so then a couple other projects. Um, this is one that I did recently for a, a workshop um, and for my stamp club. And I used some of the festive pearls to, um, to decorate the tree. And then this was a swap card I received from Kimberly Kane. And I just really love the way she used little pieces of the designer paper. So these are one by three inch pieces. And so she used five um, different patterns there from the Lights of Glow Suite. Oh, I've been having so much fun. Oh, one more project. I made an ornament. <laughs> oh, Julie, that's adorable. Oh, I used little half inch by six inch strips of designer paper and curled them around a pencil to put inside the ornament. And then I did a little double bow with the, um, with the, the satin ribbon. So, so pretty. Beautiful. So today's project is also going to be a 3D project. This is the one that I designed for Vacation Stamping School. And um, part of our swag box that everybody got um, as part of, the, um, part of the event fee was um, these star treat bags. And these are in the catalog. They're actually a page or two after the Lights of Glow Suite. But um, I just thought with the, the die cut or laser cut stars, it really kind of reminded me of the the lights of glow paper and the sparkly twinkly lights. So speaking of sparkly twinkly <coughs> lights, oh, this isn't the one that I opened. Uh, here it is. Um, I thought you could use these little bags for luminaries and um, and decorate for um, for a party and just kind of have those out, you know, along your um, along your patio or along the table. It's so fun. I know it, the Fourth of July is over already, but I I think it'd be fun to decorate in the summertime as well as um, for Christmas. But 
Um, anyway, we're we're not going to use it for a luminary today. We're going to decorate it. So, um, although I do know that some people are not uh, a fan of 3D projects, and so the project I'm going to share today, you can make either the treat bag or you can turn it into a card. Either way, whether you're doing the card or the um, treat bag, you're going to use a piece of the glitter paper that is three inches by five inches. And my original design used the gold, but um, I found that the green, because I was running low, works just as well. So we're going to start by adding that green glitter paper right behind the stars, um, just to kind of see that little sparkle through it. So the best way that I found for adhering this, because glitter paper can be a little bit tricky um, sometimes, I found the best way to adhere it is to use some glue dots. So I'm just going to do glue dots in each of the corners and on the sides. And then we'll put this inside our gift bag. Now the gift bags are actually food safe. So if you wanted to, you could package food directly in there um, without a cello bag or anything like that. Now to kind of get it to stick, I'm gonna use my bone folder and just sort of reach down in there and just kind of smooth that out and make sure the glue dots are all adhering to the front. So we've dressed up our stars a little bit. Are you, are you there still, Mom? <laughs> so I am. I'm muted because Bella was barking, but she seems to have settled down. Oh. So. <laughs> she likes it too then, huh? Yeah. Oh, then I've got a little die cut tag. This is from the Lights Glow one that has the words. So the words are, um, the words are, um, bundled with these dies that has the tag but the the light strands stamps are part of the christmas lights bundle you really just kind of need them both i think <laughs> i agree um so i'm just gonna stamp a little um a little light strands across the top of the tag i'm using evening evergreen ink and this is um soft succulent cardstock <laughs> and then i I did a little magic of TV. <laughs> I just have some strips of designer paper, a little bit of that glitter paper, and then I use the Label Me Fancy Punch to do the um, the Tis the Season tag. So the last thing is to add a bow, and um, I don't I don't have a piece cut. Here it is. Um, but you can either do a double bow or you could just do a single bow. And I usually just do bunny ears and then tie it around and then you can cut it off. And so what I did with the bow is I stuck it on with a glue dot and then I added the um I added the tag to the bag with stamp and dimensionals and I chose to put it down here at the bottom because there's this empty space you could put it up here but then you're covering up so many of the stars so I kind of put it down here so here's my finished bag um and I've got one with the gold and one with the green so you can decide which which of those versions you like this one has a double bow it's a little fuller which one which glitter paper do you prefer Ooh. I don't know. They're also pretty green is my favorite color. So I'm yeah. going to say green, but they're both gorgeous. Well, the card version of this, I'm using the um, the cards and envelopes from the Memories and More assorted pack. So um, we we talk about a lot the um, the designed ones that come in right. uh, like the Santa Express Memories and More cards, but we also do have white Memories and More cards. So this package includes um, 20 of the small ones, no, 10. 10 small, 10 large, I believe. It says 40, but I think that includes oh. envelopes. So yeah, oh, I, I think, think it's 10, 10 cards, 10 envelopes of each size, the small and the big. So I'm using the larger card from that. So this is meant to coordinate with the four by six memories and more cards. Um, and so I die cut, I didn't die cut, I regular cut my paper <laughs> <laughs> um, down to um, four by six to fit the card front. And so this is gonna go on to the card base. So this is the only part that's different. 
everything else is exactly the same as the bag. We're going to use the same piece of designer paper that's or uh, glitter paper that's three inches by five. And that's going to go in the center. And then we're going to take apart the bags. If you if you don't think you'll use these, you can kind of take this apart. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll just show you real quick. <laughs> you can kind of take that apart. And the goal is to create um, to create a flat piece that we can use in our paper trimmer. So I'm just going to kind of um, pull that bottom apart. And then you can use your scissors. to cut the side. I'm so proud of you for using the paper set. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Oh my goodness. Once you have it flat, you can put it in your paper <laughs> trimmer. And um, I'm starting just by kind of cutting the front, but you do need to trim it down just a little bit. So I'm right now going to start by just cutting all the way around to get all those side flaps off. And um, that little that little bit off the top there. Um, but I want this to cut down to three and a quarter by four and a half. So the box front should be pretty close to three and a quarter. Um, I'm going to trim just a little bit to get there. And then I'm going to have to cut a little bit more off the bottom to get to four and a half. Um, and the reason I want to cut it to four and a half, I'll show you when we put it over the glitter paper, is I want to be able to see the glitter paper um, on both the top and the bottom. So this glitter paper was sized to fit into the bag, which is the full length of the stars, um, but I, I want more of it to show on the top and the bottom. So I did it at uh, four and a half um, because the glitter paper is five inches. Okay, so really easy. We're going to add this. I'm going to try some Stampin' Dimensionals this time. Um, on the other card, I used some um, tear and tape. And again, it's really hard um, to find adhesive that works well on glitter. Um, do you have a, a, an adhesive that you prefer to use on glitter, Mom? Well, I, I, I'm going to use tear and tape, but I was thinking that um, if I... <laughs> I was almost thinking of getting out my hot glue gun. <laughs> right? <laughs> and hold it. So yeah. So I, I'm using the stamp of dimensionals. We'll see how this holds up. I, it actually feels pretty good, I think. Yeah. Um, and then it gives us a little elevation there. I kind of like that. My other card, I did not, um, I just put it on flat. Well, we're going to take the same um, tag that we made for our, um, that we made for our box and we're going to use it on the card. So let's get out that glue dot and we'll um, stick the bow onto the card right at the top, right at the tag. And then, um, oh, I got stuck. <laughs> Um, you can put the, the tag wherever you want it to. In my other sample, um, I must have turned the star piece around the other way because I had the big empty spot up here. So I added it high, but I think I'm going to add this low uh, because that's where the, um, that's where the, the big, the bigger space is um, to cover down there. I like it low. Yeah, I, I like it low on the, um, on the bag. And I think wherever the empty space is, is the best, best place to cover it up. So whether you like the little gift bag or you like the card, there's different ways to use those star treat bags um, to make a fun little project. Excellent. Nice job, Julie. Thank you. Are you ready to share your project? I am. All right, so um, I have my measurements and they'll also be in our description. But our card base is going to be a piece of soft succulent that's 11 inches long and five and a half inches wide. And I've scored it at one and three quarter, three and a half, five and a quarter, and seven inches. So again, this will all be in the description for you. And then we have another piece of soft succulent that is six inches by four and a half, and I've scored it at three inches. So in addition to this, I have some very vanilla pieces. 
I have one that's five inches by three and a half and two pieces that are four and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then I have two strips of designer series paper that are five and a quarter by one and a half inches and two pieces of the, the um, evening evergreen glimmer also five and a quarter by one and a half and you'll need two strips of those or you can just use all designer series paper if you want all right so i'm going to get these off of here and i'm going to bring out my non-marked up one so on this smaller piece i'm going to um, fold it and when i use it on the card it's going to be in the mountain fold. So I'm going to set that aside. And then on this one, I want to do it. See, I want to fold this down and up and down and up so that you come up with this. Ooh, I like where this is going. I'm telling you. It's, and this is, it looks maybe a little complicated, but it really truly is not. All right. So I'm going to bring out my strips and I'm going to start with this one. And so the designer series pattern paper is going to go on panels one and three. And then the glimmer paper is going to go on two and four. Okay. Okay. So just so you know where we're going with it. I've done a couple different versions of these uh, for Hostess Club last week, actually. And um, everybody really likes this. And I don't even know who to give credit for. I did not design this layout. And I've seen it several times online, but I don't know who initiated it. So if the person who initiated this, oh, I got this crooked. I think it's one of those things that it's probably been around. You know what I mean? I like think so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm thinking. So if, if by chance, the person who came up with this is watching, thank you. <laughs> I think we shared a card kind of similar to this in another um, Sunday stamping. I think you're right. Year sometime. We may um, have. But I love it if with the sparkly paper. Oh, yeah. And if you don't want to use sparkly paper, even just flipping over this one. Mm -hmm. for the green for the for contrast yeah will yeah. work as well so um it certainly is your perf your preference what will be tricky is when we go to put our tent piece on there um with the glimmer so we'll worry uh, about that when we get there uh the other thing i did ahead of time because i wanted to make sure they were dry is i took some of our rhinestones and our evening evergreen blends. And I colored, I, I'm only gonna use one, but I got carried away <laughs> <laughs> um, and did quite a few. So uh, those are done and ready to go. All right, so now we're gonna do our stamping. All right, so on one of our pieces, let me put this away. Let me bring in our stamps. I've got two greetings. And some of our little stars. And the ink that I'm going to use is Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent. So I am going to stamp the tree in Evening Evergreen. Now, wait a minute. I like to do this and make sure I get it on there. Some of the bigger stamps, sometimes it's easier if you do that. All right. And this barely fits on here, but it does fit. All right, we're done with this guy. We're gonna move him aside. And then on this guy, we're going to stamp our greeting. May the peace of the season light your world and may your new year be the brightest. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna put this on here. And then I'm going to use soft succulent. And I'm just going to stamp some of these little stars around the greeting. 
and this guy's done. And then for our big guy, I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas in Evening Evergreen. And again, we're going to stamp some soft succulent stars around the greeting. All right, that's our stamping. Ink out of the way because I am transferring it to my fingers. All right, we're going to bring this piece out. And we're going to adhere our Christmas tree, which will be the front of our card. Over here. And have no fear, we will bring it up. Of course we will. And so this one goes here. And then we'll go ahead and put our bigger piece on the last panel. All right, coming together nicely. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use some tear and tape and hope this holds. <laughs> Otherwise I'm gonna get my glue gun out. So you're gonna put tear and tape just on the, on the edges here on the very edges. So if I can find the end of my tear and tape, well, this is a new spool, okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna put two on this end. Yeah, um, just because of the glimmer paper and I'm hoping it'll hold. Otherwise, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what would be the best way to hold this. Um, you could try the stamp and dimensionals. Would that work with this fold or would that make it too bulky? It might make it too bulky. It might not close, right? So we'll see. Let's see. We'll say a prayer, right? All right. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this backing off here. I'm going to fold this up and I want to put this about halfway, kind of center it like right about there. And then we're gonna flip this over. I know you can't see me, but I made a sign of the cross hoping this works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so this should land about the same spot. <laughs> All right, there it is. Oh, that's so fun. Isn't that fun? And it's yeah, not yeah. that difficult really once you get everything cut. All right, so let's uh, let's dial this guy up. So I'm going to take um, one of my colored rhinestones and put this in the center. I put, put a clear one on but then I decided I really liked it green. So, and now we're gonna put some gold uh, pearls. I was calling them balls. I don't really see these as pearls, but okay. You don't think they're pearls? Well, the, the red and green ones look pearlized to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a word, isn't it? Pearlized? pearlized? Yeah. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to put a few, as in five, just to give a kind of a semblance of some ornaments on the tree. All right, now I'm going to take some of our beautiful ribbon. And I actually got this done ahead of time, uh, but I just pulled it around and tied it and tied an, um, a bow. Let me just slide this on so you get the full effect. Does it go around the entire accordion? It goes, it goes around the entire accordion on the left side. Okay. All this. Oh, that's perfect. Here we go. 
And so this is the card. How lovely. And then this is, this is it kind of folded out. So you can kind of see it. Very nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These colors. I, I really love the colors in this designer paper. I do too. I, very... I, said, I wasn't going to get it. And then yeah. I thought, why would I not want this? They're very oh. like traditional Christmas kind of colors. They are. And I have one sample that I got at a swap and I didn't make any others. I've been busy with vacation stamping school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my excuse. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is from Jennifer Bla Blaschick. Yeah, I'm not sure. Isn't that pretty? Oh, look I at love that. this That's that festive foil paper in the back, yes. right? And she took a couple of the stars and, and out of the glimmer paper mm. for the treetop. I love it. I love it. And then she did this on the inside. Oh, perfect. Isn't that pretty? I may have to case this. <laughs> there it is. All right. Well, let's flip the camera around and show off our cards together. Oh my gosh. I love all these cards, the way they turned out and the rest of them at Vacation Stamping School. You won't get to see those unless you attended Vacation Stamping School. Leave a comment and let us know if you did. We'd love to hear what you thought of the event. And if you missed out on Vacation Stamping School, you'll have an opportunity to participate next year. We'll do this again. Um, and it'll be for demonstrators only. So if you're not a demonstrator yet, you should join our team so you can join us for Vacation Stamping School. <laughs> hey, Julie, guess what? What's that? It's still celebration. Oh my gosh, I know. We are almost, well, we're more than halfway done more now than halfway. because it yeah. is August 7th. Um, and Stampin' Up! just announced some new gift options for celebration. So um, if you missed out on some of the other things, let's see, the tree lot dies have sold out and the uh, the pool party cards and envelopes. And so Stampin' Up! introduced some new options. These are all things from the annual catalog. Um, there's some $50 options and some $100 options. So you can get those for free in addition to the remaining other celebration gifts. So just yes. a few more weeks left to take advantage of that. Yeah, yeah. Should we post a list of the, the, um, the, one, the items they just released maybe in our description. So yes, we'll add that know. in the video description, a link to the flyer or a list of all the, um, the products yeah. that you can choose from. If you're ordering in the online store, there's a special section where you'll find those items after you click the checkout button. Um, if you're ordering in person um, at a, a customer event, like one of mom's stamp club or a party, uh, make sure that you are using the celebration order number that is specific to this promotion. And it is different from the regular item number. So um <laughs> otherwise you'll get charged and that's right. Like give, you, give you free. <laughs> That's right. I was just helping a customer with an order and she saw that the, there were new things and she picked out to the embossing folders. And then when I was helping to finalize the order, I realized that one of the things that she'd ordered was the dots and spots die, which is one of the celebration level two items. And Ooh. so we just switched things around because the die was more expensive than the two embossing folders by almost double. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we saved her like, I think it was like $14 or something. So yeah. um, definitely check Crazy. them out. I, I I put an order in and I did get that dots and spots die for free. I wasn't going to get it, you know, but I sent some <laughs> cute cards and I was on the fence. So when it was offered as one of the free celebration items, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're suckers. We're suckers. <laughs> we are suckers. My favorite of all the offerings is the Aspen tree dies. Do you have those yet, mom? I do. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I, and I, I, we used it in club and yeah. I sold a lot of them. I was really shocked <laughs> to see it know. as a celebration gift item because I think everything else is from the annual catalog. And that's the only yeah. thing from the July through December catalog. And my understanding is that it has been kind of popular. So um yeah. <laughs> if you haven't gotten it yet and you've been eyeing it you definitely want to take advantage that is an amazing celebration uh level two gift to get with a hundred dollar order so just a couple weeks left until the end of celebration yeah it, it yes just a couple weeks so you don't want to miss out on that and and we never we never showed them the planner did we 
for, you know, for I haven't tonight. really done much at all with the planner. Do you have it there? Um, I, I know I don't have it here, but um, <laughs> next week. Yes. Cause there'll still be time for people to sign up. We'll show you uh, the gift you get for, for joining during celebration. It is an awesome, awesome. It's planner. huge. It's a huge package. The making plans collection yeah. includes a really beautiful planner and lots of stuff to put inside of it. Um, there's three um, standalone notebooks and a stamp set as well. So it's very robust. The uh, I haven't huge. had a chance to put mine together yet. Um, so we'll definitely make plans to do that. Make plans yeah. and share it with you next <laughs> week. <laughs> That is too funny. Yeah. I'll get a little slap happy over here. I definitely oh, we are. We are. <laughs> well, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, joining us for Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. We so appreciate you tuning in and watching us. We hope you have a wonderful week. And until next Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. Bye. Bye, everybody. Have a good week. See you soon, Mom. See you soon, babe.